I am going to tell you a story that a powerful state doesn't want you to know, about a crisis they've tried to keep hidden, about tens of thousands who have disappeared. It's a story so dangerous to tell that for some, it's meant ending up on a kill list. A lot activist and staunch critic of Pakistan government, Karima Baloch, was found dead under mysterious circumstances in Toronto. Baloch had accused Pakistan of stripping natural resources from Baluchistan, of torture and forced disappearances of activists. In Baluchistan, there are many cases happening, like more and more. If you talk about what's happening in Baluchistan, outside Baluchistan, you are liable to be killed. We've seen that. She had been talking about being followed, getting threats. Then finally, it came to a point that she started becoming the next target for the state. The ISI is the most powerful part of the Pakistani military's intelligence apparatus. It is about thousands of people who got killed, disappeared. Each family has lost someone. It was a communication about people talking about an assassination list, and it told me that you are on that list. These are people who are trying to raise international awareness of this issue. She became this essentially icon, this young icon of Baluch rights. Even if we are in exile, the threat is still there. Canada had gone to great lengths to give her our protection. We had failed to protect her. My name is Mary Link, and this is The Kill List, a six-part investigative series everywhere you get your podcasts.